What's going on Capricorn? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a reading for April 20th through May 5th, 2023. So in this reading Capricorn, we're really focused on the eclipse season that we now find ourselves in. We just had a powerful uh, solar eclipse in Aries on the 20th or 19th of April, depending on where you are in the world. And we're going to have a very powerful lunar eclipse in Scorpio on May 5th. 2023. And so right now, as you're watching this Capricorn, we're in between these two eclipses. Some of the most potent, powerful energy of the entire year is happening right now. And this eclipse in general is going to bring permanent change or the one that just happened on the 20th of April. There's a lot of permanent change going on right now. And so this reading is going to help you decode what that is for you personally in your life. And so Capricorn, in this reading, we're going to focus on your past, present, and future as it relates to the eclipse season. So when I talk about the past energy, uh, it will really refer to the period up until April 20th. So what happened um, up until the 20th, up until the eclipse in Aries. Then when we focus on the present moment, we're, we're talking about the period in between eclipses. So from the 20th to the 5th. And then when we talk about the future in this reading, we're really talking about the 5th onward. So what will happen after uh, the so the lunar eclipse on May 5th. Okay, so it's past, present, future. That's just a guideline. Don't get too attached to it. Uh, use your intuition as always. But if this general reading resonates with you, Capricorn, definitely smash that like button. For the new viewers, definitely smash that subscribe button. It would really help me out a lot if this reading resonates with you. But um, let's go ahead and get into this reading. See what wants to come through for you, Capricorn. As always, I would like to thank V. <laughs> uh, well, a lot of you in your recent past have really been dealing with a devilish energetic cord that's being cut in love. Like there's someone you may even be mad at. For some of you, there, you have an ex, recent ex, or someone that like did you wrong, or you're in a battle with someone, open enemy. No, not, not going to be for all of you at all, but just be aware of that. Hold on, let's see what we got. As always, again, I would like to thank the angels, the spirit guides, the interdimensional beings who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Capricorn. All right. Maybe there's a jealousy battle going on. There's something about, uh, hold on. Yeah, be careful with what you got going on. If you're in a love game right now, if you're trying to play with someone's emotions, if you're trying to make someone feel a certain way about you, uh, I mean, we'll have to get to the advice, but you know. Some of you are really in that. Hold on. Oh my god, exacto, exacto. I love when the... F Hold on. <laughs> All right, yeah, so some, like the first thing that I'm picking up on, this is not going to be for all of you. Some of you are in a really nasty battle with one of your exes, and it could be uh, quite... Some of you are with someone right now, or you were with someone because you were trying to make your ex jealous, or vice versa. There is something about that, like wanting revenge on someone. Some of you may start to realize that... Uh, like you, it's a stupid game you're playing or some of you will relish in it, I don't know. Um, it's an interesting energy though, Capricorn. Let's see, your opportunity right now for this eclipse season is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune does have to do with a big opportunity and the fact that it's in the opportunity slot just amplifies it. The Wheel of Fortune really is about your fate, if you will. Um, it's something about the wheel of the, your fate is starting to spin. What this destined thing is tied up to we're gonna have to see when we clarify but just know there's something going on with your fate like if you get this eclipse season right you're gonna get the rest of your the next few years or, or the rest of your life right that sounds intense but it's what i'm getting um so the wheel of fortune there could be some, a, a major shift with your destiny right now um major 
there could be something coming through about you understanding your destiny more clearly. The, the Wheel of Fortune is your opportunity. A lot of you are going to really, Capricorn right now, like be in tune with like your pre-birth agreements. Like, this is why I came down here, um, etc. And there's a big shift with this. And some of you, it may, there, something may come to light that actually pisses you off. But you can always use that anger. Um, so, and then your challenge here, Capricorn, is the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords and your challenge has to do with a complete ending. Okay, it's done, it's dead, it's dead in the water, it's it's completely over. And so some of you, this definitely has to do with that X. Some of you, this definitely has to do with a, a breakup that you recently, or just a breakup you went through in your life that is really hard for you to move on from. Could be someone that you felt like, this should be my husband, or this should be my wife, or this is my soulmate and we're not together anymore and it's really nasty and it's all messed up there's something around that for others of you this has to do with your purpose and your career and a redefinition to that something could have come to light about like why you are where you are right now okay like that sounds vague but like let me just give you an example i was shown recently that everything up until I, everything that i did up until this point in my life was just a bonus capricorn so let me explain this to you because it relates to the frequency that you're going through right now. Um, I was shown that, let's just say there's been a lot of redefinitions to my career. I'm not going to stop doing tarot. I'll be doing tarot. But like, um, let's just say that I was shown something to do with my destiny on the 20th, on the eclipse, that let's just say everything I did up until this point was a bonus. So everything that I was so convinced, oh, this is my destiny, was really just a bonus that was leading up to my true destiny, which is now being unlocked as we speak, and it is for you as well. And it has to do with a big career change. Like, you thought you were going to be a plumber, and you're really going to be an electrician. Like, something like pivotal shift, or in the same field, subtle shift for some of you, but it's really getting you... But then you have this X thing, and it's nasty. For um in your recent past Capricorn, you have the Eight of Pentacles upright, you have the Six of Wands in reverse, and you also have the King of Wands um, upright. So whether this is you or this is your person, Capricorn, the first thing that really came through is in your recent past, someone was trying to get attention to make someone else jealous. <clears throat> you know, Six of Wands in reverse is like getting attention for the wrong reasons, playing unfair and winning unfairly. You also have the king of wands upright and you also have the eight of pentacles so it could have to do with your work for some of you um there could be something about ethics and work but for most of you this is to do with an x or this is to do with a really deep-seated even if like i'm getting for some of you capricorns like this wasn't a recent breakup like this is an x that goes deep but there's a little bit of a power game like someone is someone could or it could be more innocent you know it could be more innocent for some of you, like your ex sees you with someone and gets jealous, or you see your ex with something, but for most of you, this is like intentional weird. Um, so just be aware of that. Very spicy, like, weird political maneuvering, honestly, between you and someone or your work. Political games, you know, like inauthentic, trying to make someone get an emotion out of the other person is what I'm getting in your past. Present moment in between eclipses, so from the 20th of April to the, uh, from the 20th of April to the 5th of May, you're really sorting through some darkness, right? You're going to go down into the dark and you're, and you're going to realize, like, it's dark, but it's not that bad. You have the Seven of Swords upright, the Death card, and you also have the Hermit card here, Capricorn. In um, So deep reflection on transformation in your life, but it's tied up to some sort of sketchy energy. Um, the Seven of Swords here, some of you, like... There's a feeling of like coulda, shoulda, woulda when it comes to your past. Like you feel like, oh, this person schemed me. I would be in this position if I didn't do that. Or for some of you, this is just you reflecting like, wow, I'm a scumbag. Like like you really realizing like like I've been bad or something. Or like not bad, but like you're realizing your mistakes and it just eats away at you. We're going to have to clarify, but clearly you're going through some deep, sketchy transformation and reflecting on it. Then when it comes to your immediate future, things do clear up, and, and, and you're back to your, you're back to usual after. Once the fifth of May comes, you're back to usual, is what I would just say, because you have the Ace of Swords, you have the Three of Wands, and you have the Four of Pentacles. There is going to be some sort of mystery that's like that's revealed. Once again, there's something that's bothering you that you're trying to sort through. This could have to do with an X for some of you. It could have to do with your destiny, and like this is what my soul chose to do, but why did it have to end up like this? Like. 
Something comes to light. The Ace of Swords is about the sort of truth, mental clarity, and it brings stability into your life, right? The Four of Pentacles is about, um, is about like utter stability and holding things back, not being too open. There's some sort of, for those of you that want revenge on someone, and um, like, I'm not here to judge you in these readings. I'm just here to read energy. And some of you, there's like this really, you might be plotting something deep revenge. Like I'm talking like like superhero movie stuff where like you're not gonna be able to get, rev so this could be someone who screwed you over in business. This could be a past lover who screwed you over, or this could be whatever it is, or you know, the matrix in general, you start to wake up to some of the stuff that's going on. It's worse than a sci-fi movie. You start to wake up to some of the stuff that's going on in this world. It's worse than Gotham City. And so whether this is personal business or just matrix and you're realizing the bigger picture of how we're all uh, suppressed in this world, there's some sort of like, okay, this is what I need to do to take my power back. It might not happen today, but like just nose to the grindstone, like this is what I need to do. I know what I need to do. So you're coming out of darkness, but it is tied up to like potentially, like you have the king of wands and the seven of swords, like anger, like, you know, it's a weird one. It's a weird one. It's a weird one. So with that being said, Capricorn, let's start clarifying this reading and see what we got going forward. Well, the wheel of fortune, I looked at the wheel of fortune, the king of wands is already out in your past. You also have the king of wands here in your like just popping out right now, but we're really gonna have to clarify. So let's see why the Wheel of Fortune is here in, um, in your opportunity, Capricorn. The Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Devil, the Knight, the Nine of Cups, and also the, the Knight of Swords. I don't care who you are, and I don't care if this has to do with it. A, this has to do with a love situation or business or personal. There's someone around you that you're really like. There's almost like an open enemy in your life. It's going to be more subtle for others of you. It's going to be more obvious for others of you. But there's something. The wheel of fortune is clarified by the devil, the nine of cups, and the knight of swords. This is someone like I'm. I have to say what I'm getting. Like there's an opportunity. I mean, listen, you don't, you shouldn't always act on the opportunities that you're given. There could be an opportunity for you to get back at someone who really wronged you, soul contract type stuff. Like the nine of cups is someone really feeling emotionally happy, like all their ducks are in a row and the devil's like toxic. So for some of you here, it's as simple as stop sending emotional mental energy to your ex that's trying to get your energy. Because a lot of you, there is something about an ex that like feeds off your energy right now. And so you may know that, but then you can't stop it. And there's just like weirdness of the like, and then you go to an extreme to take your power back. You're like, okay, well, nothing's working to take my power back. So let's do something to match, fight fire with fire. There's this weird battle going on between you and someone. For others of you though, using ang if there's no open enemy or it's just something that you messed up yourself or it's something to do with, remember what, what I meant, remember what I mentioned Capricorn, like some of you are gonna be having realizations that it's either, let me break it down for every single one of you watching this. It's either an ex that you feel is scheming you. It's either, um, or it's either the matrix at large for most of you, or it's some, some sort of business partner. There's whoever this is that is like, there's some sort of, you can channel your anger that's part of your destiny. So if someone pissed you off recently, in this eclipse season, you're meant to hone that energy and like within every within every adversity lies the seed of an, of an equivalent advantage. There's something you're meant to do with this energy. I would advise you just to be aware of like what you put out is what you get back. And so um, there could be something about like like uh, I don't know how I want to say this. Like got him on the mental plane, avoided bad karma. Like I, but then that's just like it's just this perpetual cycle. You know what this is about. So let me just stop trying to over explain myself. Let's see what the Ten of Swords is here. So many of this is simultaneous. You know, this is many aspects of your life all together. Why is the Ten of Swords here for you, Capricorn?
Well, <laughs> and then it spun to me in reverse. The Ten of Swords is clarified with the Fool in reverse, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, and also the Three of um, Cups in reverse. So yeah, I mean, someone could have definitely, there could have definitely been a third party situation in the past. All right, third party situation that like caught you by surprise or there's an opportunity just to put that to bed. Listen, if there's someone here, once again, business, matrix, or love, if there's someone, who, they didn't give me my money, they went and slept with someone else, they gave someone else the deal, you know, like there was something behind my back that made this, like, just forget about it, Capricorn. I mean, don't, like, be rooted in your past. Like, if there's something that, like, is trauma, like, there's power to be rooted in it. But there's something you needed to transform it because there is a potential for this to destroy you. Like, I'm not even kidding. Some of you, there's a potential here for this to literally destroy you. And so, it's just intense. Let's see why the Six of Wands is here in reverse in your pet. What the hell? The, did you see that card pop out? Uh, the Six of Wands in your recent past is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So, yeah, missed opportunity. For some of you, this is just missed opportunity that you really put in the work for, and you can't believe you missed the opportunity. You know, six of wands in reverse, loss. So it could be some of you put in the work in your career, it just didn't work out. But then you realize there's some higher plot that held you down and you didn't even realize it. Like the thing that I'm, and this is, this is gonna sound crazy. And this is not, I'm not doing this reading to make you all paranoid. I'm not. But for some of you, you need to be aware of the energy. And the energy that's surrounding you right now is like literally like you're a singer. You're, you know, you do the national anthem before big stadium games. And like a half an hour before your um, big performance, someone like slips something in your drink or like someone does some sort of dark, you know, black magic or there's something. For some of you, that's what this is about. And for some of you, you're never going to get the evidence of it. But you have like... I don't know who that's for, but for others of you, it's just missed opportunity and then channeling the fire. Like, you know, you may get knocked down a million times, but you can get back up. But right now in between the eclipses, it's really like the death card, the seven of swords and the hermit. Like some of you are being too hard on yourself right now. No matter what you have going on in your life, like don't be too hard on yourself, Capricorn. Like there's a higher order to good and bad. Your biggest losses will become like your 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 biggest opportunity for your success, you know, and um, you just have to let it play out. Like wait for the fog to clear. Once again, I would really be if I would really don't make any long term decisions about your life until May fifth. Did you hear me? Don't make any long term decisions about your life until May fifth, because you're just not clear. Right? I mean, right now, let's see why the hermit is here right now. star so you're going within how do i get what i want how do i renew myself the ten of cups first and the eight of cups in reverse some of you you're trying to act like you're over this x and you're not you know some of you you're trying to build a life with someone new you could even be posting pictures or you know roles can be reversed as well so like you could see your ex posting pictures with oh my god it's my it's my new man, or like you could be doing this for some of you, but then that's not working. There's something about like a weird love game that's not working. So if there's someone who's trying to make you jealous, I feel like you got to know that like they're really like if no matter whether this is you or the person like this is like not the most like conscious stuff. <laughs> and um, listen, I don't judge that. I'm not trying to be like in some like, you know, world where we're not real but um this is just a very intense reading i just let's also just clarify why the um seven of swords is here for some of you you could be trying to make your ex jealous and then you realize that's not working and not only is that not work now not only is your love life not working because you're playing some weird game where you're trying to make your ex jealous but now because you're you're spending that mental capital it's also influencing your career and now you're in this double whammy of negative energy and then that's what this could be about for some of you. why is the seven of swords here in the current energy page of cups yeah so
I just feel like there's someone being naive. Queen of Wands. You also have the Queen of Wands all over the place. The Seven of Swords is clarified by the Empress. The um, Queen of Wands and the Page of uh, Page of Cups. Interestingly enough, you know, the Seven of Swords has to do with deception. Not good energy, and it's clarified by all these people. Interesting that you would have three people, so there really could be a third party situation going on in your life right now that I would just say you need to walk away from. There may even be some sort of like, like spiritual exorcism or like go do ayahuasca or like go do something to where you like this, it scrubs this out of the cells of your body because the Seven of Swords, the Empress, the, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Cups right now. Um, I feel like for some of you, there's, I just keep getting this repeating message. For some of you, there's one person that is like you're everything, but you're not with them anymore. And you're trying to replace them with a queen of wands. Make it a king if that's your thing. Make this the emperor. Make this the king. It's just energy. Like, um, just, you need to drop out of the entire game. Okay. Yeah. Like, there's something about living... And that's what this future is about. Once you get to the 5th of May, you have the Ace of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. There's something about what paradigm are you coming from, Capricorn? What paradigm are you coming from? And that's going to... So if you come from a lower paradigm, you're going to receive fruits of a lower paradigm. So things like getting back at someone, jealousy. It's almost like what you really want, like success or true love. You have to realize like, um, if you operate from a higher paradigm, you can get all of it, but you're going to get it in a way that may not make sense to your logical mind. And so what that has to do with is just like opting out of things to do with the past. Like it has to do with being so present in the moment that maybe when you're firstly present to the moment, there's going to be a lot of emotions that come up, but you're meant to sit with them. And there's something about like, once again, a spiritual awakening, seven of swords, death to the hermit, that speaks negative event that pushes you into spiritual awakening. I understand many of you are already spiritually awakened or else you wouldn't be able to watch this right now, but you have to understand that there's infinite depths to this game. I don't claim to be at the top of it, but it exists like such as things like Eckhart Tolle, being so utterly present to the moment, having utterly no resistance that he can literally live his entire life. Like he lived two years on a park bench where if he got hungry, people came up to him and gave him food. No one, no one, he was sleeping on a park bench. Seemingly people could have came up to him and tried to rob him. Didn't happen because there was no resistance. You need to, if you master resistance, you master this reality. And remember Albert Einstein said, you can't solve the, you can't solve the problem at the same level of thinking that created the problem. And so whatever this problem is, it's gonna be different for different Capricorns. You need to opt out of the entire game and you need to do like um, like deep soul retrieval, meditation, whatever you wanna call it. It's gonna be different for different ones of you depending on your belief system and permission slips. But um, w this is one of the most intense periods up until May 5th. Up after May 5th, you'll be good, Capricorn. But this is what I got for you. I hope this provided you clarity and insight, and I'll talk to you next time. Peace.